Howdy folks, and welcome back to Adventure Time. Today we're going to be watching Season 10, Episodes 5 and 6, which are titled 17. Episode 5 is titled 17. Not 17 episodes. There are not 17 episodes in Season 10. And episode 6 is titled Ring of Fire, and we got a huge lore dump last time. Kind of the whole origins of the Candy Kingdom, how Princess Bubblegum became a princess, or at least adopted that moniker, and uh, I guess the biggest thing left to learn from that is how Uncle Gumbald kind of re-emerged from his dumb, silly, punch bowl self. I don't know if that's important, I don't know if we're even going to find out, but it's just something that I'm keeping in mind as we move forward. And I say all this because the episode title 17 kind of leads me to believe this might have something to do with Princess Bubblegum and her age. I feel like that's kind of been a thing in some of these episodes. I feel like, uh, you know, she had her younger arc. I know she's like 800 something, but how she kind of appears. I think she's supposed to be about 19 looking, uh, but there was certainly an arc where she lost some of her gum mass and was portrayed as more like a 13 year old, kind of closer to Finn's age. Uh, and we've certainly gotten a couple episodes that specifically dealt with her age in, I think, believe Too Young and Too Old were two separate episode titles that kind of delved into that. So I just see 17 and I'm like, well, that kind of shoots the middle right in between. And uh, either this is going to be something about the lineage of the bubble gum family tree kind of thing. Or I could just be completely off base. And it could be something just completely different. And then Ring of Fire, I don't really have any predictions for, but maybe a Flame Kingdom thing, maybe another Fire Princess, Flame Princess kind of thing. But uh, that also feels too obvious. That just could be something completely different as well. I don't know. You do. So let us go ahead and get watching as we, uh, you know, stick with a, a pretty short intro, all things considered. Uh, hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, all the YouTube things, subscribe to the channel. You know the drill. YouTubers say it all the time, uh, but it does help. All the things do help. So, hey, I, w I would love it if you did it for me, please. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these episodes. And uh, we only got a couple left. Uh, if you want this uncut, unedited, head over to the Patreon where you can uh, get those as well as, you know, be a little bit ahead. I'm about two weeks ahead, uh, not to get into any politics, really, but uh, I'm recording this the night before election night because no matter how tomorrow goes, the vibes are not going to be great for me to record this. So uh, I am, uh, you know, hey, whenever you see this on the main feed, just know that it's you know, probably two weeks, two weeks before the other came out. Uh, but regardless, let us get started with Adventure Time Season 10, Episode 5, 17. Starting up in 17, 16, 15, no, 3, 2, 1, go. As we go on the intro, I have chamomile tea. I know I've had sleepy time in the past fairly recently, but um, I found this chamomile just in the drawer some old bag of chamomile and i just kind of want to get it drank and get it out of the drawer because i honestly forgot we even had it oh this is peppy hyper pop sounding music compared to what we just saw in that intro well that do be the candy kingdom so maybe i wasn't completely off base with my analysis before we began Birthday boy. hey everyone's here enjoying your party well some of my friends is finn 17 now the candy Bop kingdom is in full lockdown until I can sort out the rumors about my uncle Gumbald. Yeah. Don't worry, PB. Are we gonna now see I'm the? 17, I'm feeling ready for anything. Okay, so Finn is 17. Hitting my stride, you know. Hey, can hey, I get another smooch from Huntress for Wizard that. for my birthday, That's please? A oh, it doesn't work. That is not how those sound. I got yeah. you a present too. It has emotional and metaphorical significance. It's beautiful. She's supposed to hold it up to her face as he opens it. It's her lips it's inside. It's an elk's heart. Oh, cool. Oh, never mind. Zombie cows. Oh. Oh, what the hell? You're green. I'm the green knight. Oh, my wife watched that movie recently. It's a battle axe. That's some axe. Am I an axe guy, well, though? I was going to say, Finn does need a new weapon, right? Only if you play me a game for it. What's the game? Harmonica playing. All you have to do is strike me with it and it is yours. Interesting. Mm -hmm. This is what we saw in Uncle Gumball's kind of tube, right? Ask some stranger? He was working on. Wait a minute. Where's Jake? Yeah, where is Jake? I know what's going on. There's no shirt pocket. No, I don't think you do. Oh, Make right in the ass. Be steady. <laughs> sure thing, Jake. Yo, even Huntress Wizard is like, oh. 
Yo, he bent over ready for it. Happy birthday, Finn! Oh, Jake, when did you... <laughs> I did just do a moidle. Are you pranking me? My prank is his fake-out gift. Ugh. What's this guy's deal? Oh, nuh-uh. Banana guards, <laughs> surround him! Uh, I don't know if I trust the banana guards for this one. If I see someone just pick up their own head that I have just cut off... Also, did he make this out of the remains of Fern? I don't know if I totally picked up on that whenever we caught that glimpse in the other episode. Oh, of course it's cursed. At least it didn't infest his arm like in... Uh... Oh. Okay, interesting. Oh, hell yeah, Marceline. He might have an invisible shield, but I'm not sure because it's invisible. <laughs> An invisible shield. You miss, you kiss. I've got a device for the disillusion of invisible shields. Oh no, my uncle anti bubblegum it. Impossible. Where did you come from? Why are you playing this weird game with Finn? <laughs> Yo, those banana guards just still stuck in the wall, I just realized. He's playing Mr. Laughing Silent Guy. Game's over, bro. You can't both laugh and be silent. The game isn't over PB. until I strike you. We've got everything set up for party games. How about if I beat you two out of three, you gotta answer our questions. Interesting. Psst, nah. First up, we play You Miss, You Kiss. I think he's plotting something. It's fine, I'm 17 and hit my stride. <laughs> no, Finn. I don't know. Why don't we start with something basic? Like balls and coconuts. <laughs> ba 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 boom! No fair, you have a mechanical Move. arm. Damn, Finn. <laughs> He's going to miss this last one, though, right? No! Doink. Aw. Aw, what? Not even a glance off the side of it. Ooh. Aw, grass slingshot. Yo, the animation on that was so good. Yo, one shot did it all. I like them coconuts. I hate them coconuts. Something's wrong. I saw it all with my hunter's vision. Oh? Oh, the little guy was controlling it. Interesting. Finn is totally getting played. Yo, we got a Darby the Gambler kind of fight Can going on here. A greasy pole? Now it's time to play poker. Poker's the a game I'm best at. What does it go? How the hell is this going to work? Yeah, that guy's already way up at the top, isn't he? I was pretty good though, Finn. Not gonna lie. Oh. You climbed so good. Oh, Finn. Oh no, he's shirtless again. So I'll let you choose the tiebreaker. No, you idiot. Very well. You miss. You kiss. Arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. No. Superhuman robot. Arm. I was gonna say, but also this thing is probably Bam! a super magic strength dump. <laughs> Getting flashbacks to Twin Peaks season three. My face, but I am smiling triumphantly. No, it's my birthday. I know. It's, it's my, my birthday too. No, it is Fern. Fern? Damn. Yo, everyone really is just like powerless to do anything, huh? I win. Fern. We've seen enough. What? Oh, he's here. He's in the horse. Just like Ice King back in season two. Quick, eat this elk's heart. <laughs> what is this? Oh, they're all here. It's a family reunion. Uncle Gumbald. How are you back? Yeah, that's he's what I want to know. Oh my god. Lumpy Space Princess. Oh, returning everything to their natural selves. That makes so much sense, actually. Damn she it. Reset who? She reset you. Oh. For 800 years, you kept us imprisoned, Princessin. The vampire girl is legitimately scary. <laughs> Very well. You witnessed our superior technology and watched your champion crushed. Oh, Elkhart ain't sitting well. This is my worst B-Day ever. Happy birthday 
Aww. Yo, those some of those banana cards are still just shoved at the wall. No! No! I wasn't ready. <laughs> that shot of the legs. Oh man, that ending was so good. Oh holy smokes, that was that was phenomenal. Uh, that ending was was incredible. Um, okay, uh, that was more than I was expecting for this episode. I didn't think Princess Bubblegum would be meeting her uncle until I don't know, like episode eight or something. I kind of envisioned. There's a random ass hair in my mouth. What the fuck? I kind of envisioned this to be not necessarily like a three act thing because Adventure Time doesn't really do like continuous storytelling like that. Like we're not going to see like the start of an act like build up to a climax and then get like another act basically. So I kind of thought like, you know, episode four, we got the big lore dump. I thought they would meet in episode eight and then episode 12 would be big setup for come along with me, the finale. Uh, but no. Uncle Gumbald was just there, as was Cousin Chicle and Aunt Lolly, uh, who, you know, and it just as I was asking, I said, I don't know if it's important. I don't know if they'll explain it. It's not super important, and we've already seen what happened, but they did at least explain it, and uh, that made me happy to see, because now I understand, and it makes perfect sense within the show, right? So, hey, I'm super happy we got that. That was that was a great episode. Uh, I was comparing to, let me, The Green Knight. Uh, yeah, like I said, 2021 fantasy movie about uh, King Arthur. Yes, or, or at least Arthurian legend, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Uh, so, let's see. So... So I'm assuming the movie kind of followed the thing. And I thought it was going to end up being a similar kind of plot where if I believe it was Sir Gawain was either killed or killed this guy and the Green Knight. And he said, in a year's time, I will come back to kill you or something like that. And so the whole movie was him kind of dealing with that and all that kind of stuff. It was an A24 like weirdo movie kind of with just all sorts of nonsense happening, like stuff that wasn't real, hallucinations, like weird sex scenes. It was, I only caught bits and pieces of it. Like I said, I think my wife was watching it when I was streaming one night. I came in, I'd be like, fuck are you watching? Uh, and then I, I caught like the ending, like 15, 20 minutes of it or something like that. So that's what I was immediately thinking of with that, with the Green Knight, especially with him showing up and saying like, hey, strike me down or something with the ax and you can have it. I kind of thought it was going to be like, I'll come back when you're 18 or something like that. Uh, and then it was kind of dealing with, you know, obviously we don't have too much time passing in this season because it's all kind of things happening back to back. But you could see where Finn would kind of start to plan like, oh, this guy's going to come kill me. And this guy's going to do a moidal on me in about a year's time. I got to start dealing with that mentally. Totally something that you can kind of see the show maybe grappling with, like your own impending mortality, basically. Uh, but nope, completely different direction. I mean, we did get a taste of that at the beginning, but then it was, you know, party games and, you know, cheating stuff. Uh, and then the confrontation between Bubblegum and Uncle Gumbald. Great episode. Real good stuff to start. It was so good, I wasn't even looking for the snail. I didn't even think, not even once did it cross my mind, like, oh, I should probably be looking for the snail here. That's how engaged I was. Good shit, Adventure Time. Season 10 is all is so good so far. And now watch this next episode just be complete trash or something. It's probably like a Jake and his kids story or something like that. Uh, but regardless, let us move on to Season 10, Episode 6 of Adventure Time, Ring of Fire. Starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. This chamomile tea hitting tonight. Ring of Fire. Tree trunks. I, don't know, I wasn't necessarily expecting tree trunks, but... We'll see. Or is it a sweet pea episode? Ring of green fire from the lich coming out of this kid? Probably not. I think I must have the most perfect life in the whole world. <laughs> oh. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. Mama, is your life perfect? Me? No. Yes, yeah, sweet pea. I'm the happiest mama in the whole world. Aw. Hello? Tree Trunks? Tree Trunks, it's me, Randy. Is that another one of her ex-husbands? Randy? Forgive me for being so I old, don't even remember trunks, this one. You. 
I don't think that's a very good idea, Randy. Tree trunks, please. The school. There's a it was parent teacher dandy. conference I need to go to. Isn't it my turn this time? Uh, no, because um, it's my turn. Well, oh, if... that explains everything. Okay. Uh, bye. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Tiny Mammal Kingdom. Have, have we even ever seen this one? I guess it makes sense that tree trunks would the be here. The future is wild. All right, I guess the snail can't be in this episode because this isn't Tiny Mollusk Kingdom. Tree trunk flashback? We finally graduated high school. Yes, really? Daddy, tree did. trunks flashback. Really far back. <clears throat> tree trunks, would you sign my yearbook? No, fuck you. Want me to sign on my fencing photo, my fencing. homecoming queen photo, my horseback riding club yeah. photo. Yo, horseback riding sounds awkward in the tiny mammal kingdom. Literally just horses being like, hop on my back, let's go! <laughs> Randy, I've decided to take some time for myself and see the world. And I need adventure, Randy. Maybe I in need... another 70 years, I'll go what? on some more adventures with another young Maybe. boy. Oh. <gasps> Let me be your adventure. Okay, why not? <laughs> and that was her first. I mean, I know it doesn't work out, so I can't be too happy for them, right? Just in time for the honeymoon, babe. It's over, Randy. I'm a wild child. I'd rather drown in the ocean <laughs> than spend one more second with you. Why do I keep attempting the voice? I mean, I'm flattered, but I have a family now and I can't run away with you. Also, I'm old. I can't run. I got arthritis. I just wanted to ask you for my grandmother's ring back. Oh. oh. I'm going to propose to my girlfriend this weekend. Is it that same giraffe from the diner? Or is it LSP I somehow? I bet I threw that ring down a bottomless pit. <laughs> oh no! I used that ring to propose to my second husband, Danny. Oh, are we just going to see all of her husbands? I made a new life for myself. La femme du la mer. Lady of the sea. Yes, Captain Tree Trunks. Mr. Fine Duty. Yo, Mr. she got that apple I eye patch? You bug. The apple pirates? We're approaching a ship off the port bow. Good. Their captain's wearing a straw hat. I beg of you, madam. While I am tight, my brother is not. Yo, and he's got I like a... Him. My name is Daniel Prince. He's got like an eight pack. My brother, Peanut. Please look into your heart and pity him. You are a very beautiful elephant. But I fear your Yo, he's, ways he's getting the pecs hard. out too? I left my post that very day so that I could spend New sword for Finn, I guess. my life with Danny. <laughs> and his brother watched. My joy, however, would be short-lived. Was Danny smooth? Yes. Was Danny tight? Yes. But was he also was terrible he in bed? Also, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. A liar in cahoots with Mr. Fiduty to get me away from my ship. I marooned Danny. Damn. And I kaboom Mr. Fiduty. What the fuck, Tree Trunks? But what about the ring? What happened next? Oh, then my third husband. My pirate treasure and became a powerful shipping magnet. Oh, so she attracted iron. Snail, there it is. Caught it. I knew it couldn't be in the tiny mammal Come kingdom. In. Hey, I'm it's Wyatt, Wyatt. The secretary. These flowers. I remembered him again. Robot body mo. Uh, again. Robot body mo. In ooh, interesting. She was married to Mo at some point. No, I guess she was married to Wyatt at some point. But Mo was trying to get it. All right. Way to shoot your shot, man. He melted my heart. Mm. Oh, is that King of Ooh? There he Somebody is. Kiss me now. I was technically asking for him to come back. I didn't realize it would be in a flashback. Swim with me, Wyatt, you sweet boy. Oh, she oh, nakey. Uh, <laughs> technically, she's still wearing the bow. I uh, might keep my shirt on. <laughs> and that's why I divorced this one. Wyatt threw my ring in a pit? Yeah, sorry about that. What's happening here? Huh? Is it Wyatt? Ah! Oh no, Mr. Pig. And now I see you. Oh no. I, I just wanted my grandma's ring back. And 
and I just didn't want you to worry over nothing. R really? Oh, jeez. There you are. <laughs> How could you, Tree Trunks? Oh, no. Why? You've been following me? But if Tree Trunks is going to be stepping out on her man with one of her exes, it's going to be me. Rip. Oh, and now he's dead. Tree Trunks, help me. I need you. Oh, there's the ring. My ring. Get me my ring, Fen. My suck suck ring. Uh, his, uh, excuse me? His what? His suck suck ring? I just know you've had a lot of adventures in the past, and things are kind of boring now. Also, you have been acting sketchy as fuck. You and Sweet Pea are my, uh... Your greatest adventure? Yeah. Well, there we go. Oh, what the? Is that Wyatt? Tree trunks? Mm -hmm. What the heck is going on in here? Well, we never got to see with the, uh... Randy? What his, uh betrothed was i i still had canon it was lsp <laughs> he was gonna propose and she's like why would i ever marry you i don't want you go away um that was not the best episode but it was kind of fun i think i made it fun uh i was i had a lot of fun just <laughs> doing the terrible tree trunks voice uh, that will hopefully never be done again because it's fucking terrible. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, kind of inconsequential. Interesting to see kind of the, the flashbacks. And I'm wondering if they just, if these were just kind of ideas they had, but that they never really used in an episode. And they're just like, well, now we're running out of time for the whole show itself. Might as well just like use some of these scrapped ideas. Uh, Tree Trunks Pirate Adventure, Tree Trunks, you know, whatever. Tree Trunks Graduating High School. You know, all these things and just kind of put them together in this tiny little anthology episode almost uh it was you know we knew that she got around like literally got around uh in the past uh, but uh it was interesting to see little glimpses of her past life basically uh but uh you know like i said just compared to everything else going on a little inconsequential i did catch the snail at least uh but i just think at the end of this one i just don't have much to say like this is just like whatever episode i didn't hate it i've definitely seen much worse episodes uh i'll watch rewatch this over lemon hope any day um but uh yeah just not much else tree trunks got around i mean live till you get it right uh and she definitely got a lot of it um and that was probably only just just a small little portion of the the husband that she had right because when she got married to mr pig weren't wasn't the whole wedding like just full of her ex-husbands basically uh, just everybody she had married and then divorced in the past. I mean, good for Mr. Pig that he's managed to tie her down for so long. Um, I know she said, my greatest adventure. And I think technically he was about to say, I want a divorce when Sweet Pea showed up on their doorstep, right? I believe that was the case. Um, yeah, like I said, just just not much else to say. We saw King of Wu again, for whatever that's worth. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not going to drag this on any further. Uh, hey, we got this was episode six we're halfway done with the season except for the finale so just six episodes to go then that big finale we're winding down folks so that's three four more video four more videos you know just the other day i was looking at how many videos i've made how many videos were in the adventure time playlist on my channel and i was like this ended up being a lot longer than i expected it to because i think in my head, when I first thought about doing Adventure Time, I was like, okay, I will do the three miniseries and then the finale. I'll like offline watch the whole rest of it. And then it ended up being like, hey, I'm going to tack on just a bunch of other episodes like as I go. Uh, and then I'm going to do all of season 10. So it's it's kind of ballooned a little bit. I don't want to say out of proportion to what I had originally intended, but it certainly has gone on a lot longer than I expected it to. Uh, but regardless, and we still have a lot more to go even after I finish the main series itself. So... I hope you're enjoying the Adventure Time content because, you know, like I said, it's it's been a joy for me to kind of finally finish this series uh, that's been going on that I've been watching for so long of my life, but just never got around to finishing uh, and then see all the new stuff that they've cooked up uh, ever since the, the series ended. So once again, I hope you're just enjoying this because I am. Uh, hey, don't forget to leave a like on your way out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment on this dang video and I'll catch you next time. For the next two episodes of Adventure Time. Take it easy, everybody.